Okay, so now it starts to get a little more crazy here. Um, stuff in parentheses like this. The, the, everything up here is squared. So you raise a power to another power, you're multiplying. So this x to the third to the second becomes x to the sixth. And, at, and y to the negative second to the second becomes y to the negative fourth. I would deal with the outer parentheses first and then deal with the negative later. This is an x to the fourth power down here. It, does, it was unaffected because it wasn't in the parentheses. So you've got this and this now to deal with. Okay, You're subtracting because it's one over the other. So if you subtract those exponents, 6 minus 4 is 2, that's going to be an x squared on top. This y to the negative fourth needs to be moved down because it's a negative exponent. So it becomes y to the fourth, but down below. This is going to happen. People look for it. Anything raised to zero power is equal to one, and one times anything, it just sort of wipes it out, it goes away. So you can sort of ignore that because that's sort of what you're supposed to do. Then I would deal with this, okay? Now, because the parentheses around everything, you can first simplify all that stuff and then raise to the power of two because that's, I don't know, it's less, less stuff to deal with. Um, you've got these two negative exponents inside. Um, if you move the four up, there's more of these, so they're going to cancel all of those. So you move the 4 up, you've got an x to the 4th times uh, x to the negative 3rd. Those are going to combine. You have 4 on top and 4 on the bottom. Those are going to completely go away. And then this, these are already gone because it's 0. So this, you move this up. Now you've got z to the positive 1st on top. But don't forget, everything is still raised to the 2nd power. So it's just... You need to be organized. If you're not organized, you need to get organized to be able to do this because we've accounted for the y's, they're gone. We've moved this up, but we still need to combine them. But it's a 4 minus 3, so that's easy. It's x, and this is just z. So let me clean a little bit up here. I've got x to the first and z to the first, all raised to the second power. So it's x squared, z squared. Play it back if you need to, but it's a matter of keeping track of what's going on one, one thing at a time.